Good evening everybody. Jill here and I got these Valentines on sale. It is almost March so they were half price. Aren't they cute? Talk about cool. You're supreme. You are so sweet. You are the coolest. That's so nice. Tomorrow's March and tomorrow we can buy drinks at 10 p.m. and later. I don't drink, but I'm gonna go buy a drink tomorrow at 10.01. I'm excited. Anyways, hope you're having a good Sunday. And we read about Jesus um, healing people. So Matthew 4.25, great multitudes followed him from Galilee and from Decapolis, Jerusalem, Ju Judea, and beyond the Jordan. So here's a great multitude. I always draw somebody with a cane, usually somebody with a wheelchair, man, woman, children. Great mult multitudes follow Jesus. And seeing the multitudes, Jesus sees the multitudes, many people, a crowd, he went up on a mountain. So he saw the multitudes. I don't know if he was surprised, but he went up on a mountain. We, when he was seated, his disciples came to him. Excuse me, I have allergies or something. He sat down and the 12 disciples came to him. He opened his mouth and taught them, saying, Jesus said, Blessed are the poor in spirit, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. So blessed, if you're low in spirit or no spirit, for yours, theirs is the kingdom of heaven. So usually I draw a circle around whatever is said. So... I will do that. Blessed are the poor in spirit, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Sorry, my glasses are broken. So let's go over that. Matthew 4, 25. The crowds, the multitude are following Jesus. So when he saw the crowds, he went up on the mountain. I don't know if he was escaping them or what, but Jesus went to the mountain, sat down, and the 12 disciples came to him. And Jesus taught them, saying, Blessed are the poor in spirit, the lowly in spirit, no spirit, feeling bad. They're blessed. There's just the kingdom of God. And usually I would probably draw a person holding the kingdom of God. But blessed are the poor in spirit, for those is the kingdom of God. Matthew 5, 4. Is this in focus? I'm out of focus. Blessed are those who mourn, for they shall be comforted. Blessed are those who, those who mourn, are they're sad somebody died. Those who are sad from death. Oh my, somebody I know died, I'm mourning them sad because of them they will be helped they shall be comforted they will feel better they will be blessed blessed are those who are sad from death they will be helped blessed are the meek meek is not weak it's humble blessed are the meek Jesus was meek, I think. For they shall inherit the earth. The meek and the lonely will be given the earth. Inherit, if somebody dies and you are given an inheritance. So you will be given the earth. It will be passed down to you, the meek. They will be blessed. Blessed are the meek, for they shall inherit the earth. Blessed are those who hunger and thirst for righteousness, for they will be filled. So blessed, I wrote blessed over here. 
Blessed are those who are hungry and they're thirsty for righteous things. They shall be filled. Doesn't it feel good to be filled after you're hungry? I should say hunger and thirst. Let's draw that in here. Where's the pen? Where'd that pen go? Ah, I dropped it. Next edition, I'll say I'm hungry and thirsty for right things, for righteousness. Blessed are those who are hungry and thirsty for righteousness, for they shall be filled. Blessed are the merciful, for they shall be shown mercy. Mercy is giving what somebody doesn't deserve. So I'm going to show you compassion and mercy and let you off, let give you a lower punishment. So blessed are those who show mercy and they will be given mercy. It's like a cycle. Blessed are those are the merciful for they shall be shown mercy and they're blessed. Blessed are the merciful. So let's do that one more time. Blessed are those that mourn, for they shall be comforted. Blessed are the meek, and meek, for they shall be given the earth. Blessed are they that are hungry and thirst for righteousness, for they shall be filled. And blessed are the merciful, for they shall be shown mercy. And usually I draw a big circle around it, but we'll just leave it like it is. Matthew 5, 8. Blessed are the pure in heart, for they shall see God. Blessed are the pure, clean, a clean heart. Somebody once told me I had a clean heart. Blessed, I hope I have a pure heart. Blessed are the pure in heart, for they shall see God. I see God. They're blessed. Blessed are the peacemakers, for they shall be called the sons of God. Are you a peacemaker? My husband is a good peacemaker. Blessed are the peacemakers, for, for they shall be the sons and daughters, the children of God. Blessed are the peacemakers. Blessed are those who are persecuted because of their righteousness, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are those who are persecuted bad things are happening to you because of a cause because of the kingdom of heaven or because your certain religion or you could be persecuted or harmed for so many reasons blessed are those who are persecuted for their righteousness for being right for theirs is the kingdom of heaven Blessed are you, whoops, come back, come back. Blessed are you when they revile and persecute you and say all kinds of evil against you falsely for my sake. So blessed are you when they revile, hate you, exclude you, revile, put you down, Cast out your name as evil for the name, son of man's sake. So if because you're a Christian, they say bad things about you, you'll be blessed. Blessed are you when they revile and persecute you and say all kinds of evil for against you falsely for my sake. So let's do that one more time. Blessed are the pure in heart, for they shall see God. Blessed are the peacemakers... Let's make peace, no more fighting, for they shall be called the children of God. Blessed are those who are persecuted, bad things happen to you because of your righteousness, of their righteousness, for theirs is the kingdom of God. And blessed are they that revile you, persecute you, hate you, and say all kinds of evil things because of the son of man for the son of man's sake you're doing that for jesus matthew 5 12 rejoice and be exceedingly glad for great is your reward in heaven reward is great in heaven and i use money there 
but uh, reward would be blessings. Rejoice, leap for joy. Your reward is great in heaven. For though they, for so they persecuted the prophets who were before you. So the people, the godly leaders before you, here's you, and these are like lollipop figures. They're persecuted. You are persecuted like them. Prophets are religious leaders before you who said the word of God. So you were persecuted in like manner. Like they're persecuting you now. You being persecuted. Ah, I'm confused. For they persecuted the prophets. They persecuted the prophets in a like manner as they are persecuting you now. And you look like a lollipop there. But hopefully you get the point. So let's go back. Matthew 5, 12. Rejoice and be exceedingly glad, for great is your reward in heaven. For you, the prophets were persecuted before you, and you are being persecuted like the prophets are being were. You are being persecuted like the prophets were. So this has happened to godly men all over, all in all time, all over the world in all time. People have been persecuted, and this is salt of the earth. We will talk about that next time. Um, this is Matthew sketchbook, which is about to be finished by my editor on Fiverr, and then it'll go to Amazon, and then I can get it to you, hopefully. Okay, have a good night.